dual video, Ola Bible and Shimmy Jim Hog. And today we're looking for the Gales Creek Gold. Lucky! They're always doing it here on the way to Forest Grove. Now, they were further down the road last time because remember the fat guy was right through these bushes here? What? I recorded some big guy with this big old pot belly. In these bushes up here. I can't remember where it was. It was probably right there. Yeah, it was right there. There's the gold. That's where it is! Just like sitting there on the side. Right there! It's too bad, huh? Uh, I guess there's something illegal that was going on there. Prostitution? No, something about skimming money off of uh, those lottery machines. Here's a bridge right in the exit to uh, Timber, past Forest Grove, past Gale Creek, Gales Creek. This is Gales Creek. And remember it said, in a dark canyon, next to a waterfall and a lake. You're lucky you didn't lose the pan there. I got that on video. We should turn it, in, should turn it into uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, hurt my bridge. I guess we could do a little. We could do a little bit of experimental gold panning right up here, but. Uh -oh, you know where any of the tributaries are? Yeah, or dried creek beds. But most likely a tributary would come in. Well, slippery. if they considered this a canyon, 100 years ago, if there was a waterfall and a lake, then that would have all matched. But, now, does anybody know what quartz looks like? Yeah. What does it look like? Quartz is, uh, I believe it, it's whitish. Uh, almost like the beginnings of a crystal. How about you Google quartz? Do you have your phone on you? It's about to die. Okay then. So the waterfall. So there's the mines, and then the gold stash. Two separate things. Uh, and then of course the panning on the river. It's supposed to produce gold. Of course, it doesn't say what part of the river, but only uh, lists on the river, which or the creek, which is uh, quite a long ways. Now there's some sort of waterfall thing up here. And I'm sure tons of people <laughs> looked in this area, you know what I mean? Especially the locals, which there are quite a few who are interested in this. We aren't really the locals, so... This is like the one in a million shot. Well, the other one's gonna be like the one in a hundred thousand shot. Hey, I got that on video too. I can't hardly see it on the camera. It looks like okay. This is this is really like a miniature of everything. But there's your waterfall. Here's your lake, and there's the canyon. <laughs> All right, and right there it looks like that's a nice little deposit of mineral. So we're gonna go down there and pan it up and see if we can't find something. At least I am. And then of course this big old crawdad up there on that rock. All right. Well, we don't have uh, the, that much time today, so we're gonna mark off this spot. We're gonna come back here later, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't find anything. But right now, we're gonna go to the most popular spot to look, which is University Falls. Probably thousands of people look for the gold there, but uh, let's see if we can look a little more extensively. We're gonna look there just because it fits the uh, fits the description so well. Still panning. Now we're back in the University Auditorium. Off the highway. 
Once again, private property. And we're just gonna try and get to the creek. See if University Falls are back here. This isn't the location of University Falls, but uh, it is owned by Pacific University. I'm not even sure if University Falls have anything to do with Pacific University. I didn't really read into it that much. I should have. Yeah, go do it over there. What I thought is you bring a shovel out here and dig a little bit deeper than just the, uh, the creek bed. Yeah. But I mean, if the river flows into the over there in the winter, then uh, that's also a place to look. A lot of stuff, a lot of places. At least we know where not to look now. Think it started from where the gold started from? Yeah, where do you think that they picked it up? The Indians had it, and they came and traded. I heard it might be a little west of Gales Creek, near a lake, maybe a waterfall, a dark canyon. I think you're probably more like uh, um, large mountain drift creek turn off up in that area. I've yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little track of myself, you know, but uh, I, I I really can't divulge, you know, what sure. I'm gonna do. Sure. You know? uh -huh. We just wanted to because then it'd be up for anybody. No, I mean I heard of it. Yeah. There's theories that uh, they just traded it for the, from the Indians of Eastern Oregon. Oh. That's how it got over here. But I don't. I believe that there's gold. No, there's I think gold there's, there's gold here. If there's quartz, there's gold. I know that there's Quartz Creek, um, that's on the other, the other... I know where there's a lot of quartz on the Clackamas. Let's see. There you are. You know, that's where I grew up in Estacada, you know. Uh -huh. uh, but I have a, a theory. You know, where they have all these pipes, you know, up in the woods. Pipes? That water has to flow yeah, yeah. through to maintain roads. Uh -huh. yeah. And they're all corrugated. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if there was heavy metal, uh -huh. wouldn't you think yeah. it would settle in the bottom of these corrugated pipes? Yeah. I mean, there's huge, I mean, yeah, I big know. enough pipes you could drive a truck through. Yeah, we used to, I used to put in culverts when I worked in the woods. Never even thought about that. Oh, maybe I open my mouth too. Or where it washes up. <laughs> <laughs> no, where it washes up. That's what I'm going to do. Where it washes up to the edge. Then you'd have to know the roads to go up. But yeah, that's a good point. It's a really good point. And that's, that's free game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we know now that it's maybe probably not a myth. Uh -huh. People know about it. Uh, there's an old timer who lives behind me, Don Kendall, and he's a rock expert. You might want to write that down. Don Kendall. Don Kendall. Uh, 
that in that paperwork? Maybe. His name might be in there. 